On this episode of Our Football with Chris Ash, we recap this past weekend's game against the University of Michigan. So is there any such thing as a moral victory in your mind, Chris? Uh, you know, you know, a, a victory is a victory, a loss is a loss. Um, and that's the way we look at it as a football team. Our job is to go try to win games. But I am really happy about the continued improvement that we're making as a team and as a program. We talked to the Scarlet Knights about life beyond the game, one of Coach Ash's signature programs, and how it has impacted them. The fact that Coach Ash does that for us and that puts that together for us, you know, is amazing. Something that, that could help this program uh, set itself apart. Never give up what you want most for what you want for the moment. We highlight all the wonderful attributes that Rutgers can offer a high school student athlete. I'm so thankful that I had the chance to come here because I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in here at Rutgers. Also, Rutgers itself has a strong history in uh, academics, uh, one of the best public schools out there. And we preview this weekend's much anticipated game against Maryland right here on the Banks. This is a statement game in many regards. Well, it, it's a big game. Um, obviously, uh, when, when you look at the two programs, uh, you know, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, this has been a, a pretty highly competitive game between Maryland and Rutgers since they both uh, have been in the Big Ten. Uh, don't expect anything different on Saturday, but it's a game that we, we feel like we, we've got to go win and uh, we got to play well, we got to prepare well, and, and we got to eliminate some of the mistakes that, that we've had in the previous two games. Tenacity. A lot of time, a lot of effort. Play extremely hard. You know, be consistent. Aggressive. A bunch of fire and passion. I represent a New Jersey. I chase that dream that we all want. Just want to hear that cannon as you score. Touchdown! Atmosphere is electric. Steam gets real loud. He demands, you know, perfection. When he asks for something, he wants it to be done. Try to get to the dot. You quit. To know that our program is on the rise. There's only the top of the tosses there. Touchdown, catch. This program going to another level. Our football with Chris Ash is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health, New Jersey's largest hospital and health system by Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. And by Nissan, a win for your team is a win for you too. There's nothing quite like it, except driving a Nissan. Show up, we in a big house. Chris Ash is brought to you by UPS, 
With UPS Next Day Air, your package is guaranteed overnight delivery so your Scarlet Knight gear can arrive just in time for game day. And by High Point Solutions. We deliver practical and strategic business technology solutions. From Michigan to Maryland. Hi everybody, I'm Bruce Beck along with the coach. Welcome to Our Football with Chris Ash. We're coming to you from the Audi Club inside High Point Solution Stadium. So is there any such thing as a moral victory in your mind, Chris? Uh, no, you know, a, a victory is a victory, a loss is a loss. Um, and that's the way we look at it as a football team. Our job is to go try to win games. But I am really happy about the continued improvement that we're making as a team and as a program. Um, uh, when you look at this game and you compare it obviously to last year and the improvements that we've been able to make in, in uh, a year's time, a significant difference. Uh, but again, at the end of the day, we want to be able to get victories, not just go and, and play well. Progress is something that you've always talked about. You said if we continue to build, 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 we'll continue to make that progress. Yeah, we, we will. I mean, our, our focus right now, a lot of people want to talk about bowl games and, and wins and all that stuff. Our focus is just trying to be as good as we possibly can be and somehow uh, show up on Saturday and play the best game that we can play. We have yet to do that, and that's what's disappointing for me right now. You know, it's not the loss. I'm disappointed that we have yet to show up on Saturday and play the best football game that we can play, and that's what we're striving to do. No turnovers in the football game against Michigan, so that's a positive. Uh, Second is. straight week. Yeah, it is. Against the Purdue uh, game and the Purdue game, it's really the, one of the reasons we won that game because if we would have turned the ball over in that game, we would have lost it. We were able to keep this game at least uh, close and have opportunities in this game because we didn't turn the ball over. If we would have turned it over, the thing could have got, gotten ugly and gotten out of hand. A fumbled snap by O'Corn, and O'Corn in trouble to Ray covers him up. Against the Wolverines, you were down 14-7, you were down 28-14 and had the football. There were many opportunities in this game to get back in it. There were. There was really a sequence there in the first half when uh, we were down 14-7. We were hanging in there and, and felt really good about how we were playing. They got a third 19 and they moved it to fourth and one. They converted, uh, ended up uh, extending the drive, got a touchdown out of it late in the second quarter uh, with just over two minutes to go in the first half. Uh, we had the ball. We are down 14-7. Felt really good about where we were at at that point. We got called for a holding, got behind. Uh, the sticks and off schedule and uh, ended up punting. They got the ball back and they scored a touchdown with you know, like 20 seconds to go at the end of the first half. And that hurt, that, that stung our football team. Darnell Davis had a good quote too and he said, some plays we are beating ourselves. And you can look at a lot of little things in this game. One or two little things change a football game, Chris. Yeah, you know, we, we talk to our players a lot about that. More games are lost than, more, than games are won. And uh, it's the things that, that you do or don't do that contribute to losing uh, football games. There, there were missed opportunities in that game. And there's also mis-execution of things. And those are completely different missed opportunities. You're in the right spot. You just don't capitalize uh, on the, uh, the play that you can, can make. Mis-execution are mental errors. And we had some of those in the game that are really frustrating right now. We've got to understand the discipline and details really matter and they're important to winning games. As Grant will keep looking for a block from Washington. Janarian Grant now a chance to show off his speed. Janarian Grant all the way for the touchdown. Janarian Grant had a brilliant 65 yard run for a touchdown. His 16th as a member of the Scarlet Knights. How important is it to put the ball in his hands as much as possible? Uh, it's very important. He's one of our best playmakers and uh, the more we can get the ball in his hands the better. Uh, we just look at it, you know, we were struggling in the pass game trying to get the ball to him. Uh, he was str struggling to create separation to get open and, and be able to get the ball thrown to him. We wanted to make sure we could get the ball in his hands and that's how we were able to do it. Obviously, he capitalized. Edwards again, and Edwards in for the touchdown. That was all him. That was all Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards, another touchdown run. I look at his season, 521 yards. He's got six touchdowns. He's a workhorse, and he's consistent. Do you get it from him every game? Every day. Uh, every day at practice. Um, every day in the weight room. Uh, every day uh, we, we play a game on every Saturday. He's the same guy. He's never too high, never too low. He understands the value of hard work and, and attention to detail. And, uh, I, I love the kid. I wish we had him more, and I, I, I wish uh, you know he, he could have been here his whole career. And, and I think he would be a guy that Rutgers fans really fell in love with. But I love the guy right now and what he's doing for our team. 
Jerome Washington, a 30-yard reception, the longest of his career. He continues to impress. He's got 21 grabs on the season. What about his consistency from week to week? Another guy that just, uh, I think, really works the process right now and understands the value of hard work and what it can do to you, understands how important preparation is. It's a great throw and catch on that long throw. I, I remember it, it was third down. And, now we had a certain uh, a route concept called, and it was actually supposed to go to a, a uh, underneath receiver. And uh, he threw the ball down the field, and I remember the offensive coach was saying, what is he doing? Talking about the quarterback throwing to him. Jerome catches it. Oh, that's what he's doing good. Right. You know? uh, it was a great ex executed play, and, and I'm just really happy for Jerome. I think he's an all-around tight end. He can run block. He's a threat in the, in the pass game, too, and he works extremely hard. Juwan Harris had nine tackles and another interception. Are you amazed by the transformation from offense to defense and the way he has adapted? I don't know if I'm amazed. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm, I'm not surprised. You know, I'm just pleased that it's actually worked out the way that, that we hoped that it would. We made the switch. We thought he would have the ability and, and the intelligence to make it uh, happen like he has. But you never know until you do it. And uh, to his credit, he's made it work. So back to the first question to summarize this football game. You were there, you lost 35 to 14. Big improvement from a year ago. Is it something you can use going forward, however, in terms of a springboard that you can play the best and be right there with them? Well, if we learn from our mistakes, um, that's really what it's about. I mean, if we go around you know, happy about a 21 point loss, uh, we're not gonna learn from our mistakes right. and that's not uh, where we want our program to be. Uh, we're extremely disappointed. And uh, uh, what, why are we disappointed? We didn't play our best football and uh, we had too many mistakes. Michigan's a very good football team. They got good players, they got good coaches. They executed their calls better than we executed ours. And to win games like that on the road, you know, you're gonna have to execute better. You have to play tougher, more disciplined, more consistent. And that's what we have to learn to do. And if we take that out of that game, then the lessons learned and, and we can move forward. This week, it's Rutgers against Maryland at home at High Point Solution Stadium. We'll talk about that upcoming contest with the coach later in the program, so stick around. Hi, I'm Dr. Yvette Rooks, Chief Medical Officer for Robert Wood Johnson, Barnabas Health Sports Medicine. As we approach flu season, your flu vaccination is very important, but I remind you that all vaccinations are important. They are important to provide health and wellness for society. So please get vaccinated and get your flu shot today. Throughout the years, Rutgers has had multiple players perform on the grand stage that is known as the NFL. It's every kid's dream to play at that level. But for most, their path in life leads elsewhere. And when you don't make it in the world of professional football, life still goes on. Chris Ash has come up with a unique program that allows players to become ready for life beyond the game. Yeah, I think it's a game changer uh, for our program. Uh, when I look at our, our program goals, first and foremost, we want to make sure our players work towards graduation. Uh, we want to help our players uh, have a chance to go on to the next level, which is the NFL, if they, they have that chance. We want to make sure they're developed and ready to do it. We want to build a competitive football team. And then the fourth thing we want to do is make sure that when football's over, our players have had the, the skills developed and the network created to go on and uh, hopefully get a job where they can be successful citizens. Yeah, Life Beyond the Game is an awesome program that we have here. You know, um, uh, because you know, football doesn't last forever. Everyone eventually gets old and their body their body can't do it um, for the rest of their lives. So, um, you know, it's, it's a huge thing for us. You know, it helps us connect with people, successful people um, f through Rutgers. Your choice to help you, uh, again, build that resume and figure out if this is exactly what you want to do. That's our job. Having former, former Rutgers guys, former pro guys come in and talk to us about that football isn't the only thing in life that we have here, and there's life after football is something great. We have hedge fund guys, lawyers, some guys that are own their own businesses come in and talk to us. That shows us that we can do something like that after this. 
I never thought about life beyond this room. It wasn't a thought of mine. Why? Because I'm doing what you guys are doing. One of the things that Life Beyond the Game uh, you know, helped us out with was, was you know, interviews and, and how to prepare for those and, and just overall just work habits and just a lot of the things that, that they preach to us as a program by, said by the Life Beyond the Game speakers. Just meeting different people with, you know, different careers and, you know, getting to pick their, you know, brains and the way, you know, how they play football and transition, you know, to life after football. You just ask them different questions and they always open, you know, open to answer and just give me feedback on, you know, life after football. The fact that Coach Ash does that for us and that puts that together for us, you know, is amazing. You know, you know, learning from some of those guys that have, uh, you know, taken their their life after football and made it into something, you know, special like that just shows that we can do it and, you know, it's an important tool for us to use going forward and I'm glad that we have uh, that opportunity. Never give up what you want most for what you want for the moment. Something that, that could help this program uh, set itself apart. Uh, our players have, have embraced that program. Uh, it, uh, it, it's helped some of our players already get internships and job shadow people and discover what they want to do with their future when football's over. changes happened in the past couple of years with Coach Ash and how everything's, you know, kind of coming together. When you go out there and that foot hits the ball, man, we go as hard as we possibly can go. I think this place is the right place for them to come because we don't only care about football. This is a school where, you know, as, as far as a player, you know, you're going to be pushed. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the best football comes from New Jersey. Nice playing against the top athletes in the country week in, week out. Yeah, it's game day. We're to show up. we in a big house. You know, there's endless opportunity here. You have the most exposure here. A lot of kids these days like to go places where the hype is, you know? But why not create your own hype? Why not create the hype here? Sure enough, Blackshear, he makes one man miss, and now here he goes. And here is Edwards, off the right side, big hole into the end zone, touchdown, Scarlet Knights. Sindor, looking deep, looking for Phillips, and it's intercepted, picked off by K.J. Gray. For you as players in this program right now, you have a chance to do something that hasn't been done in a while. With pressure up the middle, looking deep for Mahungu, and it's intercepted. Damon Hayes with the pick. George pressure and he is brought down. We gotta get 10 units strong today. In your effort, in your execution, and your flat out toughness. Look it. Uh, if, if I were a parent uh, and somebody could tell me that my son was going to get a scholarship to go play in the best conference in America, get a great degree, uh, be right outside of New York City and be able to lean on people in, in the, the city for networking and job internships, job shadowing opportunities, uh, and be a part of a, a program where a coaching staff values relationships and is going to take care of my kids and sign me up. Here we go. Let's go, let's go, get in, let's go, man. Had a lot of energy. Let's go. Our football with Chris Ash rolls on, and this week the Maryland Terrapins come to High Point Solutions Stadium. They come off a win over Indiana 42 to 39, so they're a high-powered team that can score. Chris, do you think they're a little bit similar to you in what they're trying to accomplish? 
Uh, you know, on the outside end, yeah, I'd say, you know, probably so. It's two programs that are trying to build and, and uh, be competitive and win games in, in this league. Uh, so the, the, we, we both are in the same uh, spot from that standpoint, but uh, we both have different challenges also that we're faced with. They've got a couple of running backs that are very good. They had 157 yards rushing combined last week. What about the emphasis on, once again, stopping the run? It's going to be critical that we do that. If we can't stop the run, it's going to be a long afternoon, and we're going to struggle to win the game. Um, very impressed with the skill players overall that Maryland has, both at the wide receiver position and the running back position. Uh, they got guys that can break it uh, at any moment. Uh, they're elusive. Uh, we got to do a great job with our pursuit and, and tackling on defense this week. A young guy is their head coach, DJ Durkin, even younger than you in his second year. He's a guy that's had a great pedigree as well. What are your thoughts on Durkin? No, D DJ's a great coach, a uh, really great man and great coach, and I've uh, known him for quite a while, and he does a great job. How important is this game? I hate to say that one game's more important than another because you're a coach, each week's important, yeah. but this is a statement game in many regards. Well, it, it's a big game. Um, obviously, uh, when, when you look at the two programs, uh, you know, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, this has been a, a pretty highly competitive game between Maryland and Rutgers since they both uh, have been in the Big Ten. Uh, don't expect anything different on Saturday, but it's a game that we, we feel like we, we've got to go win and uh, we got to play well, we got to prepare well, and, and we got to eliminate some of the mistakes that, that we've had in the previous two games. Hey, you go, Are you hoping for continued support from your faithful, especially with their seeing some results and some victories? Uh, I would expect a great crowd this weekend. Uh, so uh, we're, we're expecting a, a good crowd, great uh, support from both our students and from our, our, our fans. Uh, we're going to hopefully have a great environment and it's going to help us uh, uh, create an environment that leads to success on Saturday. Do you hope to have Blackshear back as a possible component in the backfield? Uh, yeah, we do. We plan on having um, oh, everybody that was out from uh, this last week should be back. Uh, we won't know until later in the week, but we, we feel really good about that. You know, we'll be practicing this week and we'll just see how they, uh, they can move as we go along. Get her, get her, get her. Here we go. Get on it. Here we go. The Big Ten wars never end, do they? You go from one week to the other, whether it's on the road or at home, that's the challenge of it, isn't it? It's a great league, you know, and that's, uh, that's why we're here. We, we want to be able to compete with the best, and you get a chance to do that in this league. And uh, hopefully there's a, there's a bunch of recruits out there in this area that want to do that. If you want to compete against the best, you want to build a program up to, to, to uh, be competitive and win games in the best conference, man, let's go. And, and that's what it's about right now. Let's go, Coach. Good luck to you. Thank you. That's it for this edition of Our Football with Chris Ash. We'll see you next week, everybody.